yeah back here once again uh, uh with an uh, android app development uh, class now in the last class we are uh, discussing on uh, how uh, to launch one particular project using an uh, android virtual device which we have seen uh, there have taken a pixel um, as a one particular virtual device uh, of uh, the 5.2 inch screen and uh, i have told you that how you can go with uh, um, the r version of uh, the android image and uh, how to um, kind of create that particular android virtual uh, uh, device so uh, that we have did and whatever our uh, app is there example app is there that uh, hello world um, so when we click on a run and it uh, we have seen how it has been uh, uh, displayed on that particular thing and uh, in a theoretical part in a last class we had discussed uh, um, how um, the uh, text view will be there means uh, means how the component text view and uh, what is the advantages of a uh, text view will be there um, in a uh, layout when we are going to use and how the text view will works means the text which the we want to display uh, to in our app for a customer to read the things means whatever the name of the product may be like that uh, so whatever the means names if you want to display to read uh, by the customer so that for that uh, things we are going to use a um, component called as a text view and uh, then uh, the another thing which we are going to use is on a button so that also we have seen so why we are going to use a button when some uh, means when customer clicks on a button on in our particular app we have to do some function either a submitting uh, um, the contents whatever is there on that particular text view maybe like that uh, or uh, to change the text view contents or whatever a text user has entered uh, in um, another one text enabled uh, component so that we are going to take uh, it depends it depends that uh, uh, the button will be used for uh, many constraints now in this particular class we are going to discuss on a uh, the first thing is an a uh, constraint layout means how a constraint layout will be there it means uh, uh, constraint layout means we can't place the uh, components just drag and drag uh, and wherever it has been placed it will be not there like that uh, for fixing the positions and all in a constraint layout how we have to do and all so first we'll discuss about that particular thing and later on we'll uh, <coughs> add a component holder than a text view um, uh, so uh, and we'll see how the type of a text what are the different properties of the text we will be there how we can change a background color foreground color size of an text and uh, different padding things and all so different different properties of uh, um, that will be there how to change that particular properties and all um, we'll discuss on that particular thing and then another one thing is a button so button also we'll discuss like that the properties and all and uh, later on we'll see how um, we can do with any java code and all so before going to the class uh, uh, for especially for an internal test uh, so what are the portions first we will discuss that and later on we'll go to the class um the first thing is uh, for an test module one and module two until what i will cover um so the both uh, modules will be there uh, for a internal ia test one and the mode of test will be conducted as you know that uh, through the online and uh, in a google classroom after writing an exam that means in a google meet the link will be there uh, will give and a video you have to upload and in front of that video you have to write an exam and we'll keep on watching that um, so you can't tell uh, uh, some technical problems that this and all so wherever uh, the line is available somebody has raised the hand any doubts any doubts akrut akrut any doubt Hmm? Akrut? Yeah, uh, so uh, you have to write uh, 
uh, in front of the um, uh, camera there and uh, as usual the test timings will be there of one and a half hour uh, so after uh, uploading uh, means after writing the test we will give some time to upload that in a google classroom um, so we'll create our own google classroom under this particular second term mca um so there we are going to put that particular thing for example already you have um put in a google classroom one assignment right um so that uh, whatever assignment you would like that we are go with another one particular assignment same thing the invitation will come to you people you have to accept that invitation and uh, set uh, test timings everything will be there so after particular that whatever timings will be there yeah after uh, that particular timings will be there so you have to upload that to the google classroom uh, after that we'll do the correction and all so the late uh, those who are submitting and all for them uh, whatever higher authorities will uh, um, uh, rules will be applied that means they will tell from a control of examination as well as HOD and all. So the same things will be applied on you. So don't do late submissions and all. Why unnecessary risks will be there. Coming to the portion side. Um, so how the questions will be there? There will be an eight questions will be there. And uh, out of uh, eight questions, the six questions will be from two modules. Um, uh, so we almost all straightforward questions. The questions I have followed with uh, um, the previous uh, fifth semester. You can go with that. Uh, means five four. I think mobile applications. Uh, so that uh, 2019 and 2020 question paper I have followed. You can take that into the considerations. Um, uh, so that question paper and some syllabus oriented. Uh, um, questions which I have followed and have given on that particular sense one to six uh, 2019 and 2020 of uh, 17 series I think uh, on that uh, five four or five three and there are uh, uh, questions means two uh, papers we can go directly to the VTU uh, question papers and uh, you can download they not an issues and another one thing the two questions very important is the common questions means no choice will be there in this um that is seven and uh, uh, eighth question so in this seven and eighth question uh, um, seventh one is an innovative question and eighth one is an case study question so we'll first come to the seventh question in a seventh question uh, the whatever uh, the thing is there uh, like this means uh, what is the market position of a mobile application uh, presently? What is the market position? It is there. That means market analysis. It is there. Um, so, and coming five years, what is the role of mobile applications and what is the position of mobile application apps in a market? You know the market, right? The business market. So in this particular business market, what will be the growth and what will be the opportunities you will have in a mobile app application development? Uh, so that is a innovative question which I am going to ask. Why I am asking this particular question is, as an app developer, we must uh, know uh, where is our career and why we are developing an apps and all. Once we have developed the apps, uh, uh, so how the market will treat like that now, how the present market will be there of uh, mobile applications and uh, uh, what is the growth uh, means uh, how much million, um, billion dollars it has been as a growth is there and another five years what will be the this. I just go and Google it that uh, the market analysis of a mobile application development. If you click on that particular, uh, many uh, links will be open to you and you can analyze, you can see uh, the different uh, links from that links, you can uh, query information and you can analyze that information and you can see um, what is the role of the mobile applications in the IT market. Um, how much growth will be there and presently what how much billion dollars business it has been done uh, that uh, things you can study and you, that uh, after analyzing um, extract some meaningful answer and you can write for that particular uh, innovative question 
is the work which you have to do for an innovative question. Any doubts is there regarding an innovative question, you can ask me. Any doubts is there? Any doubts is there regarding an innovative question, you can ask me. Any doubts? Not any doubt is there? I repeat again and again. Any yes, doubt sir. is there? No. Right. Uh, so coming to the case study question. In a case study question, uh, uh, I am asking you to write an a same thing, the screen board story. Writing a screen board story, I have explained to you um, in uh, module one. Uh, so how the, the uh, design pattern, what design pattern you may need, and uh, what are the components for one particular uh, screen uh, you want, and uh, what type of a uh, background colors, and or you are suggesting starting from an uh, home screen. Uh, what is the importance of an uh, home? In and all, I have told you that the starting screen, home screen, and then what are the other screens should be there and all. Um, and I uh, have given you the activity also in uh, the last class of a module one, and that placement activity and many of you has been done excellent in that particular sense. I can say uh, you are having your own ideas and uh, you are keen on designing a mobile app. Uh, so that's a good thing, a good sign of. Uh, starting point. So here in uh, same case study question, one question will be there. It may be based on not only a placement training, maybe any of the other uh, thing. For example, I can ask you on a um, supermarket. Um, uh, so where um, they want to, means to create an app for an, a customers uh, and how uh, the app you are going to create uh, that particular mart uh, app. Uh, so that's a one thing, and maybe any of other scenario I can give or I can ask you to write in a, um, a screen board story boards uh, with a multiple screens. So you have to write that particular screen, and you have to explain each screen. What why you have gone with this particular screen, home screen, and uh, like subscreens and all. Um, so why these functionalities will be there only in this particular screen and all. Uh, so uh, you must first analyze and uh, you have to tell that so this is very much important uh, any doubts is there in an innovative and a case study questions you can ask me now any doubts is there any doubts is there right any doubts is there no right uh, again, uh, uh, so this is uh, all about an uh, uh, IRS. Now, you, I have told you what type of questions it will come, and I have told what is I know what you want to uh, study questions and where you will get the materials. Also, I have told you that. Um, so, and already one activity you have did uh, based case study question. Coming to the <coughs> next thing. That is uh, maybe I think I got a mail from a HOD that's stating like that. Uh, uh, some doubts is there for a two persons. So one Raman, Raman, are you there? Raman, Raman, uh, Sri Vishnu, Sri Vishnu, Sri Vishnu, Sri Vishnu. See, like this, they will be not there in a class and they will tell, uh, I didn't understand that concept. Raman? Raman? Raman went to uh, hmm. vaccination. Yes, sir, Raman went for his vaccination. Sir. Oh, vaccination, yes, went. Uh, means he is in Austria only. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Okay, ma. Uh, okay. Um, let it be. So where is uh, Sri Vishnu? Sri Vishnu is not there, I think. Hmm. Yeah, uh, some doubts. Tell them that I will clear the doubts. Not a problem. Let them call me once. Okay. Uh, now, I will take attendance. Later on, I will start a class today.
అనగా yes sir anaga yes sir one minute one minute yeah bilash yes sir akil <coughs> yes sir akrat akrat nusha yes sir arvind present sir arifulla yes sir rahmatullah sorry ben benaka raj benaka present sir present sir. Bano. Yes, sir. Bargao. Yes, sir. Uh, Rahmatullah. Rahmatullah. Aitra. Present, sir. Andana. Chandana, sir, Ramatulla network issue, sir. He is not able to answer that. Yes. Ah, uh, Charan. Yes, sir. Darshan. Darshan. Hello. Ka. Diksha, present so. Oh. Dakshayani, present so. Vishan, present so. Uh, Arshit, no. Hemalata, present so. Uma. Present, sir. Jayan. Present, sir. Uh, Divya. Yes, sir. Aushik. Present, sir. Lakshmi. Present, sir. Lavanya. Present, sir. Lavanya. Present, sir. Yeah, Manish. Present, Present sir. sir. Manoj. Yes, sir. Manoj. Present, sir. Mohit. Yes, sir. Nahal. Present, sir. Amiya. Nikhil. Present, sir. Present, sir. Panindra. Present, sir. Pawan. Yes, sir. Pooja. Present, sir. Purnima. Present, sir. Raman. Ashmi. Present, sir. Rupak. Yes, sir. Sai Kumar. Sai Kumar. Amir. Present, sir. Santosh. Shadab. Present, sir. Present. <coughs> Karan. Present, sir. Shank. Present, sir. Shital. Present, sir. 
Shivani? Present, sir. Omeshri? Omeshri? Andre? Purti? Present, sir. Sri Vishnu? No? Illa. Sugandhini? Present, sir. Sushma? Present, sir. Sushmita. Quick. Sushmita, be yes. Present, sir. Sushmita, are you? Sushmita, are you? No. Kirta? Present, sir. Present, sir. Supti? Present, sir. Arsha? Present, sir. Veena? Present, sir. Sir, after present, sir. Veena? Who is that? Uh, uh, sir, after present, sir. Okay, then. Sir, uh, Santosh is also present. I am network. You should not take over, Leela. Sir, network. It was not getting mic. Oh. Sir, Chandana present, sir. Sir, Sai Kumar present, sir. Uh, uh, back here with the Sai class. Kumar. Okay. First, I'll share the entire screen. We'll start with uh, the starting point. Yes. Sir, Sushmita present, sir. I have network issues. Akana, Amela, Amela, Akana. First class, I will. Right. Uh, okay. <coughs> Now, we'll go with uh, the Android right here. Now, back here, this, you know, the how we have built uh, in the last class, how we have made it. And uh, this one, I have explained to you how, what are the uh, two important parts will be there in an Android um, uh, project. That's an app project. So one is an, another one is an, a resource. Now, we are at a resource and uh, we are on have opened an active uh, main XML and we are in a design mode uh, so that we have uh, did it means now we are at this particular um, position you can see uh, the thing uh, always uh, why hello world will be there sir can we change that particular hello world uh, can other uh, uh, name on that particular thing the default one whenever you will uh, um, uh, create one particular screen means screen that is empty pattern which we have taken the default will be there always as in a hello world that's it so you can change even the name of that and all here not an issues so you can see here to be whatever is there directly you can go here and you can change the name uh, so this is the one here I have did uh, have typed my Dwarkanath, I have typed. Now you can see Dwarkanath whenever uh, you are loading that particular uh, uh, means whenever you are running uh, that particular uh, project. Now, if I go here, for example, I'll change it's there in XMe. I connected with my mobile. 
I'll go to the virtual device. I'll change here. I'll tell run the project. So now you can see the name has been changed. <coughs> it will run. Yeah, it's launching. It will come. Next game. It will launch it. Yeah, you see here the name has been changed and now the name it has been displaying uh, as a Dwarkanath. So like that you can change the name. Uh, so said like only hello world always. Now, uh, just I will, uh, so we'll back here with this. Now yeah, another one important thing which you are is uh, and the uh, constraint layout. The layout here is in a constraint layout. It's not meant uh, as an F3. To demonstrate that, here I'll click on this particular thing. Just I will delete this. I think uh, one minute. I want to delete this. One minute. Just a minute, it's giving me the truth. Yeah, select this. Press delete, deleted. Yeah, it's deleted. Now, um, for uh, what is in a constraint layout and all, I will take the constraint layout is a one that whatever a screen you have seen here this particular screen is made with a constraint layout. It means one particular like a, a box like thing will be there whatever you are placing here in this particular thing means components whatever you are placing that will be there with this activity into layout that means under that particular layout it will be there for example when you go to the components viewer you can see the uh, palette which is there there are the things which is there means uh, commonly used things are on a uh, text wheel just i will uh, drag this text wheel and we'll place it. Uh, just uh, down here i'll place it right so what is our intention here um, that uh, uh, this particular text whatever will be there uh, so it should uh, display means whatever the things uh, is there in that particular thing it should display in this particular middle but uh, this particular red color mark whatever is there that indicates that there is some error here so what actually error here when you place the cursor at this particular point one minute you can read that yeah uh, this view is uh, constrained and it only has an a test one minute One one minute, one minute. It's not time.
that error is not visibility tools one minute see here what the thing it is saying actually to say is what uh, yeah, yeah, well, this is not constrained it has only of uh, this uh, net type position so it will jump to zero comma zero coordinators at the run type unless you add the lines so that's why we will tell it's a constraint layout you have to put a constraints that that particular component whatever you are placing that component should be placed in so and so means in so and so coordinators only the layout editor also uh, allows you to place the widgets anywhere on the canvas and it records the current position within a designated time attribute so i will tell you that later first you see that particular error what is there if it's telling that if you are running this particular go to the zero zero position so always it's an a constrained so it's your component what your view what you are putting it's not in a constrained thing example when you run this particular um, thing again uh, so just i'll go back run a app again yes it's running <coughs> it will come there one minute i shouldn't have closed that Yeah, it's finished. One minute, it will come. Yeah. Launching activity, it will come. Yeah, you can see here it's gone here. The whatever I text to you, we have gone to the zero comma um zero position even though we are here at a middle for example i you will think that i want an um, uh, at middle only and how i can place that text to you at a middle so you have to put a con to that particular thing how we can put in a constraint here just click on this particular thing now whatever the circles you are seeing here th th this will indicates a constraint here for that particular uh, text view so uh, click here you can see if you click this particular thing automatically a constraint will come over here just add this drag this sorry place it here yeah it came to this place it here ah. now it came to the middle uh how means just have whatever a four circles uh it will indicates that uh that circles will be there it will indicates where you are going to place that particular uh, um, component in this constraint layout now what i have did in this particular layout first i have dragged this foot to the right it it has shown that uh, just a minute it's not showing me. yeah it has shown that um, the right constraint is there. Uh, so up to the screen at that particular position of a text, the right constraint which I have made. Left constraint is also there, uh, which I have placed a, a left constraint also. Now, if I run again this particular, uh, um, uh, this one means uh, 
project how it will uh, the text view will be there at a middle only but uh, it will goes to the top it will not place at a middle in a top uh, position it will be placed at a middle now if you see once again if i run this particular thing this thing yeah just i'll click on again i will run this Once again, it will come back to the position. <coughs> Installing. Yeah, you have seen here. Yeah, it's coming to the middle right so i have added a constraint but what a constraint i have added i have added a left side constraint and a right side constraint but not top and a bottom constraint i have added so if i add a top and a bottom constraint automatically it will come at that particular thing so now you see this just a minute we will go back here uh, so i will add this yeah now I have taken to the top. Now, you, even though if I run uh, uh, this particular thing, it will come at a uh, top position only. Uh, mean, uh, uh, whatever uh, the middle is there. So at exactly middle in a top position, it's going to be placed. Now I'll take this to the below. Exactly. Now it is at a middle constraint now uh, the same uh, text whatever is there uh, it will come under a exactly middle if you doesn't put this particular thing uh, only uh, means at this particular stage if you have put only this particular thing i have cut at the bond up bottom place and a middle level it will be there now exactly it is there under a middle what is our uh, objective here and whatever a text to placed here that should be there at a middle level if it if it should be there at a middle level then you have to add an a constraint to that particular component why because a constraint layout so you have to put in a constraint that how much left side so this uh, uh, component should be there left side and top and a bottom now again if you run this particular uh, thing here one minute again if you run this that's running exactly it will now it is there at a middle now exactly it will come down so uh perfectly uh, do this yeah it's launching now yeah you can see exactly it's came where we have position it has been came now we have added a constraints now you can see here actually whatever a red color is there uh, it has been came to the warning here warning status at uh, that warning status and all in depth we'll discuss in uh, coming classes but actually the error position whatever is it that has been gone the red color and it's been came to the warning thing that means uh, for this particular component we have added an a uh, um, uh, means uh, uh, the constraints and we have fixed that particular component in that particular constraint layer at some particular coordinates now coming to the another one very important thing is uh, now we will take this uh, text view and uh, we will see how we can uh, add a different properties to this particular text view and uh, how, how the text view properties uh, uh, will helpful for us We'll see this particular thing. Uh, the right side, what you are seeing, the attributes, uh, what you have taken, that attributes will be there here. And uh, this is a text view which you are going to take. And these are all the attributes, common attributes will be there. If you want all attributes, just you have to click here. So you are going to get the all attributes here. Yeah. Now you are going all attributes. You can see here. Yeah. These are all the attributes which is there in this we'll discuss some of the important attributes whatever um, is there now so now exactly to see the particular thing uh, the first one is layout width so wrapping the content and uh, uh, height whatever is it so now default it will be then wrap the content that means whatever a width and height of that particular text box will be there whatever a text you have entered it will be there in a wrapping format that means uh, 
uh, it will comes down means whatever you are typed within this particular uh, given uh, width and height will come down like that otherwise you can make your uh, um, components with uh, in this much dp means what is dp here this much depth pixels so that much width you can extend give your own uh, default it will be always wrap content that means how much content you are entering according to that it will go with a uh, layout width and a uh, height so no if you tell like that i want a perfect width and a uh, height i want to fix you can fix the unit here you are going to use an a dp that is the pixels which you are going to use so let it be a default and another one is a visibility visibility is there is yes, you are going to have an a visible here visible means the text box will be visible when you run that invisible means you don't visit uh, but uh, whatever a content is there it will not visible but the text box acquiring a space in your screen layout or an activity be there but when you go with this particular thing gone so here uh, the uh, not at all uh, it will uh, means no space it will take in your screen layout it depends uh, um, you want uh, the particular uh, uh, means property you can take that particular property let it be visible now coming to the next place <coughs> The rotation of x axis scaling and all the another one important thing is text so what a text you want to display there sample i want to display um like this welcome welcome to app ah, just for a sake i'm telling i want to display this particular text yeah you can display here not a problem these are the main uh, uh, attributes what means uh, will be there properties will be there for that particular thing now otherwise for example you may i want to increase this particular text size that maybe you will feel like that then automatically you have to go to the text size if you are feeling like that how i can uh, search for that it means uh, see text i have searched it like this text, uh, size yeah text size is there text size will be there always not with a dp it will be there with s that is uh, the pixel the size of that particular text you can uh, uh, tell smallest pixel which you can use and you can tell so here uh, 14 will be the default always but you can tell whatever you want um so i will tell some uh, 18 uh, sp right now so 18 somewhat a uh, big size it will come comparatively uh, so i will go here you can see it has been increased there right so it has been increased so that is the one thing um, and uh, text color this you have to see this is another one very important uh, text color link what is there if that particular text you are using as an, a link so that link color what you want to place um, that uh, you can make it when somebody clicks on that particular text it has to go to some particular website maybe like that uh, so for that a link you are going to specify treating that as an hyperlink for that you can enter that particular um, thing here or uh, text color yeah this is another one so text color also you can change here click here now you can select a text color and you can change your text color um, to what you want for example i will change my text color to this somewhat like brown dark brown like that so you want to it blue somewhat it has been changed to blue dark colors so i need a somewhat this light of that very dark of that so like that so maximum you can take like that it's not a problem you want that pattern also you you can select here so that i have selected a um, font color like that once after selecting i can leave that now you can see uh, sorry one minute click on that yeah now again what is that the text color is a size i have sent background color so i want to change the background color of this so i'll go with a background um, background yeah color you can see i can change this background color also um i want to click on one minute yeah i will click on this i want to change this back 
so what a background color i want i want some light background colors like uh, this yes sir you want sorry. to continue madam time agoyta sorry sorry madam uh, sorry agoyto nanu bega bidbeke at meeting ide madhyana avuda sorry na close martini eradu nimsha close okay 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 okay, okay. Uh, so this uh, you can uh, select of this particular thing and uh, you can change it right so background color also i have changed and uh, this a foreground color which is there like that you can change in remaining thing i will continue in the next class we will go with button and all how to make the position again vary if you want and all that and na uh, next class uh, so any doubts is there you can ask me just i'll leave you one minute I'll stop sharing. Yeah. Uh, any doubts is there? It's open for discussion. Okay. Just I'll stop recording.